Welcome back to the Late Night Format here on WESU Middletown. I'm your host, Adi Sleepak, and hanging out with me in the studio tonight, I've got Gabe Rosenberg. Hey, Gabe. Hi. So, we just got a phone call from our good buddy Jason Brenner, who uh, <laughs> uh, would like to make a official statement that Chuck is a brilliant show that was canceled before it's time. <laughs> And um, depending on how well this uh, game is going to go, maybe he will talk to us more about that. But we're going to try to play a game. <laughs> okay, Jason is very adamant about getting his opinions on the air. So, uh, so Gabe, do you want to explain the game? Uh, this game is called Will You Will You Push the Button? And yeah. in the meantime, I'll get Jason you work on that. hooked up to the hooked up I'll explain that. to our audience. Yes. I'll keep them entertained. Are you not entertained? Uh, okay, well, so, uh, Will up. You Press the Button is a really shoddy internet game um, that is sort of a would-you-rather type thing. Basically, it gives you a scenario. You get to have any superhero's power of your choice. But then it gives you a... What's that thing where, like... But, uh, your, your hate, your hate, oh, what? No, I'm, like, what's the general concept of, like, the... Like, there's a, a caveat, too. Caveat, yes, caveat, thank you. You're welcome. It gives you a caveat. So, you get a superhero power of your choice, but if you press that button and get that superhero power, the person you hate most in the world gets the exact same power. So then it leaves the choice in your hands. Would you press the button and have both statements be true, or not press the button at all? And then on the internet, it lets you basically say, is this a good scenario or a bad scenario? Um, which is fun because they're all like user submitted. So you can tell because some of them have terrible grammar, and those are some of the most fun to deal with, because they're just, they're just weird. Honestly, they're just like weird. Uh, so, do we have an example of them? Of a good one up yet? Uh, a good one or one? Or one. Okay, yeah, we got one. So, Gabe, would you push this button? Okay. It's a button that if you push it, you become a god, but no one believes you. But is, like, that, I mean, that is just sort of the, the god question. Like, do you want to be God? I don't really want to be God, because, like, what's the point if you can't use it for but party a tricks? a God. A God? Yeah. Like, any Well, God. I think you could do party tricks, but then people wouldn't believe you. So it's basically like, uh, like, like a, like a Sabrina the Teenage Witch scenario, where you have superpowers, but no one believes you. If I'd I do it. I would be Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I wouldn't be a god, but I'd be Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I think I'd be a god. I'd be like a really like low-key god, though. Like, I'd be totally cool, because I really hate attention. Uh, which is really funny to say on the radio. You wouldn't be like the Yeezus type of god. <laughs> no. I'd be like... You wouldn't be like, I am a god. Like, yeah, like I could do some I cool stuff. I am maybe. a god. Like, I would like help people out, maybe. And like, I'm okay with like the not getting The occasional smiting. Credit. The occasional necessary smiting. Like, assuming if I was a god, then maybe, like, I would have been around for a while. Like, maybe I would have done away with Hitler. Oh, speaking of which, that's kind of racy. So how about you read this disclaimer? <laughs> Just in case I say worse Just in case. Then All right. Uh, the views expressed on this program are the views of the individual broadcaster and by no means reflect the view of Wesley University or the WESU management. This program... <laughs> There's more. May contain material not suitable for children or sensitive listeners. If you are offended by profanity, please tune out now. If you have questions about the WESU indecency and obscenity policy, please contact our board of directors at 860-685-7703, or you can send an email to WESU at WESUFM.org. You did a horrible job, man. Oh, that's what I get for being mean to you for no reason. You did Instant an excellent karma. Job. Yep. Okay. So, should we do a new button question? Yeah, my phone just completely is not getting anything in this All area. Right. So your phone is going to be the go-to. Just The iPhone 6. Pick it up in your stores today. All right. Got to refresh it, got to refresh it. All right. Would you push a button Yes. that would 
make you an immortal and will die. Wait, <laughs> you are immortal and will never die no matter what. Okay. But you are immortal and will never die no matter what. I hate these questions. We get these a lot. We played them a lot last year when we were uh, procrastinating. Um, it's a really good procrastination game. Um, but, like, you will no matter that, like, no, I'm not going to do anything that will make me immortal and not ever die. Yeah. Because that just makes things boring. Actually, and, like, am I afraid of death and not to want, enough to want to be immortal? Probably not, because then you have to live through, like, everyone, you know, dying and, like, and it just that's just too much It would just heartache. be terrible. Yeah. And if, like, I'm out. Yeah. I will not push that button. I don't push any buttons that make me immortal. 62% of people pressed this button. Really? 38% did not. 62% of people have never seen Angel. They never know the problems of being immortal. I think more than 62% of people have never seen Angel. Like, I don't okay. think the statistics are mutually exclusive. Basically, I'm saying I've never seen Angel. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen two seasons of Angel, and what I'm saying is that I don't want to be immortal. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay. Would you push a button that would allow you to watch any book as a film in your head, but Kristen Stewart is the lead actor. <laughs> veto, veto, veto. I would not push that button. <laughs> I don't even think there's anything to discuss there. 40% of the people pressed this button while 60% did not. Why is that That's such an even That's a lot split? more pro Kristen Stewart camp than I would expect from the world. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Oh man, let's do another one. Actually, you, you read me this yeah, one. Yeah, 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 my turn. Okay. Oh, you have to back first. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, okay. I got this. It's fine. Man, my phone is awesome. I It's just six. on top of parties. Do -do -do -do. That one's not appropriate for air. <laughs> what if it doesn't have air? We did a disclaimer. We could say what we want. Except for curse words. Okay, no... Too this long. one is just like you can play any instrument, but all of your teeth fall out. <laughs> but if your teeth fall out, you can't play a bunch of instruments. You can play violin, cello, piano. Can you play the trumpet without your teeth? Actually, you can. You can probably play any instrument without your teeth. I really don't know how trumpets work. You you have to. I actually used to play the trumpet for a little bit. Um, you yeah. You basically do it with your lips. You have to go like this. And do like an elephant noise into the trumpet, and then the trumpet comes out. Yep, just like yeah. that. Okay. I Why did, did that you with get a teeth. trumpet in here? <laughs> um, dumb. What? <laughs> all your teeth fall out? No, I want to have teeth because food is more important than music. Oh. <laughs> Game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Game. <laughs> I had to think about that one for a minute. Um. Okay. This is for the Big Lebowski fans out there. You will always score a perfect 300 in every bowling game you play, but you will never be good at any other sport. Huh. That's like, like very specific if you like play sports. I, but here's the thing. If you d already don't play sports, do you want to be known for being an amazing bowling player? Yeah, except I'm like, I'm like moderately okay at sports sometimes. Like what sports? Soccer. I played soccer through all of high school. I like soccer. Soccer's my favorite sport. I we, like... ne we never played soccer yeah, with we... the World Cup this summer. We never... I said that I would get a soccer ball and I didn't. Yeah. Maybe I'll get a soccer Mess ball. Messing up. Yeah. Messing up a D. That would actually be really fun. We should get a soccer ball. Yo. Yeah, so no. I'm okay with sucking at bowling. Okay, here's a really dark one. You can kill anybody you want, any way you want, without the risk of anybody finding out it was you. Nope. But you won't become severely depressed every time you kill somebody and live with the guilt of knowing that you killed that person and you cannot forget it. Those are the same thing. No, I would not push that button. I wonder how many people push... Oh, did you already? Yeah, I'm, do I'm just refreshing. I don't care that much. Let me do it. You go. Fine. You don't like my style. I understand. Ooh. Ooh. Our, well, okay, I'm going to expand this a little bit. Okay. So. Hit me up. It says you can enter any anime you choose and live on your own terms. Okay, I'm listening. But you will die one month after entering. Ooh. What? Except, wait, that doesn't just... That's that, a terrible idea. Yeah, doesn't that just mean that you die after a month? 
pretty much? Like, you have a really awesome life for a month. I don't know. Like, you could enter, say, the Avatar universe and get immediately ransacked by the Fire Nation. So you could even die sooner. No, but it says you will die one month. So you would have one month of epic fighting, epic insaneness, lots of uh, facial expressions, lots of, ooh! Here's the thing. We're not in the place in our life where we can make decisions about um, how much, you know, life we want to be spending more of. You know, we're, we're young, we're alive. And wild and free. And wild and free, exactly. Um, so, you know, maybe if we had some illness or if we were like 87 uh, or if we were just having a bad like 40s, you know, then maybe we would choose to live short but epically. But, like, right now, like, I don't know, I, I just want to have lunch tomorrow. Like, I don't need to go to a special universe. Unless they have really good lunch. I do, you seem pensive. I'm trying to find a new one. <laughs> this one's kind of funny. Our friend Jack would like this one. <laughs> Maybe he made this one. It says, you get a free Xbox One, but everyone thinks you are an idiot. <laughs> do I want to be Jack? Or do I not want to be Jack? To be fair, he got a PS4. <laughs> this one's so good. Okay. Okay. Ignore the other one. Okay. Would you push a button that made you instantly the most attractive person of your gender? But <laughs> it's only when you put on a pair of cracks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would do it. I don't have that much of like a high moral fashion sense that I wouldn't be opposed to putting on Crocs and being instantly like, you know. Uh, oh wow, this is a long one. You know what could be fun? What? Let's, uh, maybe we can open up the stage to callers who can answer some, uh, will you press the yeah, button? Yeah, if anyone us. wants to call in and we will ask you on the air uh, uh, will, will you, you press the button? Yeah. And you will have to answer us. You can call us at 860-685-7700. That's 860-685-7700. We will happily take your call and you can participate in these weird discussions with us. I feel like when we like looked at them before, we had like some really... Ooh, that's horrible. <laughs> like if you said yes to this, you'd be a horrible person. Okay, hit me up. Maybe I'm horrible. If you push this button... You get $50 million added to your bank account right now. But the person you love most in the world will drop dead right after. Ah, I can't do it. Yeah. I like $50,000? $50, million. $50 million. Oh, 50, still not enough. Oh, Gabe. Adi, I wouldn't want you to drop dead. You love not me. Not for most. anything under 100 mil. Oh. <laughs> But, like, that's such an irrelevant amount. Like, what? $50 million. Like, that's, like, too much money. Is it, though? Yeah. I, at that point, I'd be like, I don't, like, what would I do? Like, I wouldn't have anyone to hang out with. Because, like, you know. You could never trust anyone ever again because they would just, like, be like, you have money. And would be like, watch out, I'll get more and kill you. Like, don't be my friend. Yeah. Oh, or not even, no, like, you wouldn't tell people about that. That'd be, like, the worst way to go about this. <laughs> <laughs> to tell people that you murdered someone in order to get $50 million? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, pretty much. Um, but no, like, because then people would, like, want you for your money. You're okay, lying. well, yeah, I'm interrupting this one for an even better question. You always know what time it is. But there's an internal cuckoo clock in your head that clicks every second and coos every 15 minutes. Would every you, 15 minutes? Well, yeah. What kind of crazy clock is that? Would you press that button to always know what time it is? Can I negotiate by saying what clock coos every 15 minutes? A cuckoo clock? No, know. it doesn't. It doesn't on the hour. Okay, but would, would you do it if For it on, the, on hour? the hour? Yeah. Would that still, like, not... That could be so useful to have that good of an internal clock. And then it would be, like, a really quirky tick. <laughs> <laughs> but only you can hear the coup. Yeah, okay. Would it be weird if, like, everyone could hear the coup? Like, just, like... That would be like worse, but I think I would still do it. Is that weird? Like, I, I, I love having a good sense of time. 
and just like having a literal internal clock. Wait, can we make it even better that the like bird comes out of your belly button? <laughs> No, I think it has, I I think it has to it. come out of the side of your head. And you have to cut a hole in all of your shirts. <laughs> I would pay to see that. I'm so tired. <laughs> if you would like to call in, you have about five minutes to do so. Uh, just letting you know. So you should call 860-685-7700 and chat with us. Because we would like to chat with you. Here's a press the button for you, Adi. Okay. Um, you would become the most popular YouTuber in the world. Does it actually say that? Yeah, this was an actual one. Okay. Um, but your favorite YouTuber would stop making videos. The stakes are so low. <laughs> um, no, I have. I personally have no desire to be YouTube famous, so let's let someone else do it. But I'll, like, oh no! Like, someone I like on YouTube stopped making videos. Maybe he'll move on and do like real, not like real things. YouTube is a really great thing and it's awesome and I'm a huge fan of it. But, uh... Seeing as this, this part of the video is not going to go on YouTube. Yeah, well, why not? That was a joke. Oh, ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Yeah, this is just like the lowest stakes ever. Like, who cares? <laughs> okay, would you live in your favorite... Here's a similar one. Would you live in your favorite magical fantasy anime cartoon world? That is like one world mm -hmm. word. But you live there as a normal human without any powers or unusual traits. Ooh, that's... Do, so do you want to be Sokka? Pretty much. Um, I don't know. You could be a Sami from Korra. I, that's true. I would definitely I be a Sami. I might want to do it. A Sami is like one of my favorites. She's like so kick butt. What? <laughs> it made me laugh that you said kick butt. <laughs> Yeah, well, I... Yeah, we, yeah. Know. we know. We know. We know why you said kick butt. Um, ooh. Well, okay, what's my favorite? My favorite is probably Avatar. Yeah. Um, and that has, like, an extent... But would you, here's the thing. Would you be an equalist rebeller? Would no. you... No. You you would just, like, look up probably, to the people? Probably. Unless, like... Like, buds. like they're, they're not very clear in the show about, like, how bad... Like, sure, it sucks to, like, be at this disadvantage. But, like, how much are you marginalized is what something that's kind of unclear uh so I mean, like other than being you're gonna petty, get ransacked a little bit occasional ransackness um this was closer only 52 percent of the people pressed this button while 48 did not i would probably push that button i probably would too like it would be an interesting world yeah but yeah we could benefit from some element bending here and then i can like Collect friends like who can do stuff for me, and I can Team also Avatar. be like smart. Yeah, I can. I, I'd be a sock. But probably, here's the thing. But like a lot less funny. What if your boyfriend was the moon? <laughs> Wouldn't that just be the worst? Yeah. <laughs> that would kind of suck. You will be warm for the rest of your life, but you will be on fire for the rest <laughs> of your life. <laughs> I wonder how many people push that button. Only 22% percent push that button. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up with one last one. If you want to participate in our very last, uh, will you press that button? Call 860-685-7700 right now. But if not, Gabe can answer it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Feeling good about mm, this. This is like, there's a right answer to this. Okay, no. no? I, I want something ambiguous and morally difficult. I want it to be haunting me when I go <laughs> okay, home. Perfect. This is perfect for you. All right. Would you push a button that would put words on that would put your words onto a piece of paper by just looking at it? So you look at a piece of paper and the words are printed on the paper. Okay. But the words are printed in Comic Sans. <laughs> no. <laughs> would not push that button. I wonder what the editing process of that would be like. So if you're like, oh no, I don't want to say that, would it erase your progress or not? I don't know. Ask Apple. Probably working on that. <laughs> I just, you're thinking about it. So probably like if you're like. If it was something that would magically do it, but what if it was like a button that you push and then like a chip is forcibly inserted into your head? Well, why is there a chip suddenly? Like to make it work. Oh. I don't know. I feel like. Just by looking at it. 
Like, cause in a way, like that could be useful in theory. But like, if it was like, if you like made mistakes and it like wouldn't recognize it, like if it was like auto correcting. See, that's why. Like that. That's why I think like the, if it's just like mind paper. Yeah, it's probably just mind paper. Psh, eh, average everyday ordinary mind paper. I don't think I would do it. I definitely not because of the Comic Sans, just because that's not a thing I want. It probably would be helpful for me. I don't know, maybe for it writing would. articles. Like that's pretty, yeah. No, seriously. Whoa! <laughs> you just burped on air, dude. I'm so embarrassed. It is officially 1:20 a.m. This is this is where we're at. <laughs> and on that beautiful ladylike note, I think we're out of time. So. But we're coming Rude back. Of you guys to not call very soon. But yeah, we'll be back in a minute um, with uh, some music. I brought some crazy jams. Crazy jams from a band called the New Pornographers. Indeed. So Gabe's gonna tell us about that when we come back, which will be so soon. It'll just be like 60 seconds. So sit tight, and we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> <laughs> 